much. Welcome to another day of life. in here but I think I just need one or I might do them side by side or like facing each other I don't know yet just in case any of my friends want to come work with me but yeah I have my own space here and get ready to set up the space for me because right now it is so freaking empty so we can finally get set up and oh my god get some work done today is restarting I think it's a good time to grab HDMI to HDMI cable and extension cord because I've only got two plugs in this desk thingy so let's do that <laughs> Blood is freezing in my lips. Well, is it real or is it just a double 
I know it's a bit of a late lunch, but I fucked around too much this morning, so I thought I'd work extra hard. Um, might just get sushi so that it's a quick meal, and then go straight back to work and actually finish this thing. <laughs> such a crazy morning <laughs> I'm just like excited that I'm just ready for lunch now I'm kind of hungry but I was such crazy crazy morning and look I know I could have been a lot more organized and I should have been a lot more organized but this is what it is, I survived and now I can just keep coming here every day and do my work and that's the best part. Every single thought inside my brain replaces because I'm so like fighting so it's so right fighting when not so like dying let it go yeah let it go Find stones in my bankroll my office it is very echoey because it's so empty <laughs> and the walls are quite thin as well so sometimes I can hear like the other people from the outside but anyway as you saw earlier you are introduced to Darmin Digital with my logo as double D's just like my titties <laughs> this is why no one takes me seriously but um, yeah, I thought I'd try this new path and route of like spinning up my new thing and see where I go. And as an independent contractor, there's a little bit of like uncertainty and quite a lot of risk. But what I really want to say is that, you know, not everyone knows what they're doing 100% of the time. We have an idea. I have an idea. Maybe 60 to 80% idea of what my goals are, what I want to achieve. Sometimes I set my goals too high that they become unrealistic and I stretch myself out too thin. So I'm really trying to find that balance where I can be consistent and whatever I'm doing is sustainable. And one aspect of my work is not being compromised, you know? Of course, my priority right now will still always be my nine to five, but at the same time, whenever and wherever I can, when I have space or when I create space and make time for things that I can call my own. And that is whatever this is. <laughs> And so with whatever you want to do, just fucking do it. Like there are people who will help. There's information everywhere, especially online. And I still have a ton to learn. Whether it works out or if it doesn't, I don't give a shit. At least I know that I tried. And <laughs> I think that's like just the attitude to go about it. Take all the shit as they come, but make sure you are progressing, moving forward and learning every day not every day but you know you get what i mean but anyway i'm actually going to um a web3 conference today because you know websites might die soon and i need to pivot to web3 or something but anyway i will also take you to the conference 
Sorry, Darms, I have to cut you off because you are talking too much. <laughs> But anyway, you got what I meant, I right? Don't see why you can I promise I'll wait as long as I can, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. I want you to know you're enough of a man. Let's walk on the beach with our feet in the sand, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. yeah. You know that your curves are infectious. Is this a curse or a blessing? The way you make me feel got me stressing. Play with my desire till you possess it. What you want make you ooh ooh Was just passing through ooh But now I don't know what to choose The best thing about living on your own is you can be as savage as you want <laughs> I don't do that often That was the one time I did it So I just got home from the um, Web3 meetup It was very inspiring One thing I noticed about the C-level executives, founders, entrepreneurs that were on the panel is how much passion and purpose and strong sense of accountability they all have and one thing that they also said is what I said earlier and that is no one really knows what they're doing 100% of the time but you just go and fucking do it anyway It was an inspiring meetup it's very like you gotta have belief in in web3 and in the future and how the tech is going to evolve and that's something i really love especially being in this space so i am for sure inspired and you know it's really good going to these sort of things because it lights up that fire in you whenever you feel like you've lost it and it's all about like being surrounded by people who inspire you and get you excited about certain things in life again but anyway too much rambling um it's such a good day though even though it was a little stressful at first it's been fun and i hope you enjoyed it too make sure you hit like comment and subscribe if you are enjoying it otherwise you wouldn't have made it this far so you're already here you might as well do it <laughs> anyway bye